even when you live and work at a park, there's nothing like going to other parks on vacation. I was so excited to travel out to Western Oklahoma and see some of our beautiful parks out there. I started with Roman Nose, which is a really easy drive from the Oklahoma City metro area. It is one of the original CCC parks in Oklahoma, the original seven, and that CCC stonework is still there and spectacular. But there's also so much wildlife, so many more trees and more water than I ever expected in Western Oklahoma. There's a golf course. I went on the wonderful Inspiration Point hike. I was so excited to take a picture with the Roman Nose sign that's so unique to our parks. And we really just got to enjoy a beautiful day in October. They have a wonderful group camp that we'll be using next year for BioBlitz Oklahoma. There's the usual campgrounds, aptly named for our beaver friends. And they even have teepees that you can rent out if you're a beginning camper or maybe it's an especially windy day. But they also have a beautiful lodge, if that's more your scene, equipped with a restaurant and all. It was a beautiful park, and quite frankly, I can't wait to go back, hoping to round up some friends and book a trip. I headed from my day at Roman Nose over to Boiling Springs, which would be our base camp for the week. Set up a tent. I went to sleep like this and woke up like this. I kind of forgot what it was like to uh, stay in a tent. The campsite at Boiling Springs was absolutely amazing. Got in the car, headed over to Great Salt Plains State Park, which was a little bit of a drive, but well worth it for the awesome scenery out there. And I was really excited for crystal digging. It's probably pretty obvious where I am now. The Great Salt Plains and I am at the National Wildlife Refuge component of it. It is 8 miles as the crow flies and about 25 minutes from Great Salt Plains State Park. It's open from April until October 15th for crystal digging. And it is a landscape that is unreal. It's windy.
Okay, again, you might be able to guess where we are based on what this looks like. It's crazy. We're here at sunrise at Little Sahara. And again, as the name implies, looks like you're in the Sahara Desert. It's chilly, uh, the sand's cold, but it's just, it's beautiful and otherworldly in its own way. <sighs> We are at the top of Gloss Mountain and it is incredible. You can see forever. The sky's blue and there's a bunch of red dirt with layers of white and the mountain. Some people call it gloss, some people call it glass. It's again, aptly named. It's a theme on these Western parks. It's just shimmery and so pretty. We saw all kinds of little rins and flickers up and down the cliff facings. And there's some cactus, there's some grasses, which might not sound cool, but if you're a botanist, uh, there are all kinds of cool vegetation up here. And we're just enjoying Western I will tell you no lies. It's not a lot of infrastructure. There's some vault toilets at the bottom, parking area that you can see here, and some stairs that are kind of a little bit wobbly. And you might have to take a break or maybe a couple breaks if you're like us to get up them. But the top is worth it. Once you climb to the top, don't think it's over because you can keep walking all across that mesa and there are so many cool things to discover. It's so pretty from those top views and just hanging out up there where you can see forever. So catch your breath once you make it to the top before you turn back down and climb those stairs to the bottom. Okay, we're at Boiling Springs, which is our home base for the week. And I just took the hardest nap of my entire life in a hammock in a tree. So now we're taking in the beautiful springs. That's the name for the park. And so it's called Boiling Springs, not because it's boiling hot or that it's a hot spring at all, but because the gurgle of the spring looks like the water is boiling. But it's an area you should check out. It is so beautiful. It's almost like a Zen Japanese garden. They've done a really good job making it just this pretty quaint little place. Right now, the leaves are falling in yellow and the birds are going wild at dusk. It's so cute. It is the last night of our adventure in Western Oklahoma and it's supposed to dip into the lower 30s tonight. I am in my mummy bag. I have my hat on, my long underwear, extra pair of wool socks. I put socks on my hands and a mask. There's a barred owl who has been going crazy outside and last night there are a lot of coyotes and so I'm looking forward to see what's active tonight when it's cold. There's that owl. It's just been beautiful here at the park. Uh, the bathrooms have been great. Our little camping site has been great in the whitetail area. We had some vegan chili for dinner on the camp stove, roasted marshmallows, hoping that we can stay warm tonight to get some good sleep. Okay, we are breaking down camp. It's Friday of our wonderful Western Oklahoma adventure with the wild women, Western Oklahoma. <laughs> we have one more park to visit, Alabaster Caverns. And we will be re-exploring some areas of Boiling Springs today. It was so pretty yesterday. We want to go back. What was your all's favorite thing, walk, rock, bird? Uh, that giant 
said cottonwood. <laughs> <laughs> there's a wonderful, there's a lot of big, wonderful trees here at Boiling Springs. Huge. Especially for Western Oklahoma, that's not what you think of. Very surprising. Yeah, this is like the biggest tree I've ever seen in real life. It looks like Grandmother Willow from Pocahontas. It's a great climbing tree. And it's just behind the campsite. Dee Dee? Not going to tell you which one though. The rock wren? <laughs> we saw a rock wren. Uh, on the top of Gloss Mountain, which just makes it like cooler than like seeing it on the side of the road. We hiked to the top and explored and there were the cutest little birds on the side of the rock face. I think Little Sahara at sunrise was my favorite thing. Just the glow of the sunrise on the sand and feeling like you were somewhere foreign or you know just the beach, something magical that didn't look like where we were it was it glowed and was beautiful so we definitely two thumbs up for western oklahoma we all had a good time right what is it? fabulous <laughs> oh we were Famous. blown away and, and we've fabulous. been here before yeah. but like yeah. each time is a new spring yeah. <laughs> even though it's fall <laughs> uh and i mean you never know what you're going to see the leaves are so beautiful right now we can't wait to come back we had a tent site in the Whitetail area, which was really pretty. The bathrooms were so clean and nice. They had a big shower, and it was just a beautiful drive-in. There are some RV spots, but then a whole row of tent camping. It's kind of tucked away down from the road. It was a crescent moon, and it was just a really pretty time to be camping. We loved everything about it. We had potable water at our site, picnic table, fire ring, grill, everything we could ever need. We hiked the scout trail behind the front office and took all its various arms and loops because it was really pretty. Uh, we even hiked down to the river area at sunset and enjoyed the falling leaves, the big trees, and the little bridges. We hiked the beautiful trail behind the park office again because it's just so pretty. We couldn't leave without so doing it again. And we saw some great trees and some cute little bridges. We're back right behind the park office now. Boiling Springs is one of the original seven Oklahoma State Parks built by the Civilian Conservation Corps, or the CCC. They have a really great area explaining what the CCC was, um, and they even have a big sign in front of the park office that names all of the members of this particular group from the CCC that helped build this park. I think they've done a great job incorporating that history and making it really modern and accessible. And it's just a beautiful area in such a quaint, pretty park. We're definitely gonna be back. Right, ladies? All right. <laughs> Alabaster Caverns, Gypsum Caves, with thousands and thousands of bats. I mean, that's pretty cool to have here in Oklahoma. And it was a super easy drive from Boiling Springs on our way out, me back to Cherokee County and the girls back to Oklahoma County. We stopped at the park office and checked it out and bought tickets for our cave tour. They were $10 and I think they limit the groups to 40 people. So we went on a tractor with an open air back for the public down to the cave opening you have to go on a tour you can't just wander on your own through these caves and explored for about an hour and 15 minutes part of the cave had collapsed so you can't go from start to finish you have to go through and then turn back and go back around it was really fascinating All in all, it was a fantastic trip to Western Oklahoma. I know I can speak for Dee Dee and Abby and myself in saying that we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves and highly recommend this trip. So I visited Roman Nose, Boiling Springs, Great Salt Plains State Park, and National Wildlife Area, Alabaster Caverns, Little Sahara, Gloss Mountain. So six state parks all home-based at Boiling Springs, so we just set up camp that one time. It was fantastic. 
Thanks to Levi at Roman Nose and Tucker at Boiling Springs for hosting us and showing us around. Hope to see you guys soon. We rented a campsite and I added a tent on, so it was a really inexpensive excursion out to some awesome destinations.